Okay, so in this question, Joyce had some amount of money. She bought a dress, a shirt, and a watch. She spent one fifth of her money on the shirt, and the shirt cost twenty-four dollars less than the dress. The watch cost a hundred and two dollars, and she was left with a quarter of the amount of money she had at first. Right. And the question asks us to find how much money that Joyce have at first. Now, in questions like these, okay, dealing with fractions, we must remember that fractions are part of a whole. So we need to identify what is the whole amount we are talking about. Right? So the whole amount that they want you to find, okay, is money all right so let's draw a whole bar to represent this money all right so this represents all the money that she has okay now let's see let's look at the items what did she split this money up into it says she bought a dress okay a dress so let's use D for dress, a shirt, S for shirt, and a watch, W for watch. Was the money spent on anything else? Let's see, what else did, the, did this total amount of money split into? A dress, a shirt, a watch, okay, and she had some left, right? She was left with some. Alright, so let's use R for remainder. Okay, so this is the remainder. Alright, All right, now let's put in the numbers. She spent one fifth of her money on the shoot. Alright, so one fifth of the money on the shoot. So the shirt is one fifth of her money, and this is of the whole. Okay. So we use this. The shirt cost twenty four dollars less than the dress. Right. So we need to know how much the dress cost. If the shirt is twenty four dollars less than the dress, it means that the dress is $24 more than the dress, okay? And the dress also contains the cost of the shirt, right? Because the dress is a shirt plus $24 more, right? The watch, they give us the, the amount in dollars, okay? A hundred and two right and the remainder is quarter of the amount of money she had so a quarter of the money now let's try to make sense out of this if she left after spending all this money if she is left with a quarter right it means she spent a total of three quarters of her money okay so these three items here total to three quarters of her money all right so let's put that into one statement all right let's put the cost of the, the dress the dress is one-fifth of the money all right plus 24 dollars okay plus the shirt is one fifth of her money right and the watch is 102 dollars and all this is equal to three quarters 
of money. All right. So let's simplify this. All right. Now we can't add one fifth of money and the twenty four dollars. Okay, and get some single answer. All right. We need to add the figures of the same units. All right. Now, if you don't understand what units are, then you will need to go back and revise that. All right. So the units here for the, in this question is dollars. All right. So we could only add the dollars together. So we could add one hundred and two and twenty-four. All right. To get one single answer, and here we'll get one hundred and twenty-six. All right. So. The amount of money in dollars on this side is 126. All right, so we got rid of these two. All right, now let's add the fractions of money that we have. The fractions of money that we have is one fifth and one fifth. So one fifth and one fifth. Right, same denominator, so we just add the numerators, we get two fifths. Okay, so we have two fifths on this side of money plus $126. Alright, and that is still equal to three quarters of the money that she spent. Alright. Now again, we can't add two-fifths of money and $126, all right? So we need to put them together. So if you have done inverse fractions when you were studying addition and subtraction of numbers, right, way back in first year, second year, maybe standard one, you would have learned that the opposite or the inverse of addition is subtraction okay so on this side if we are adding the money if we want to group the like sections here together right three quarters of money here we would need to bring this here on that side of the equal sign all right and if we are adding here we would subtract here now, if you don't understand what is happening here why we bring in this across on that side then you might want to have your teacher or your tutor or Look out for one of our upcoming videos explaining inverse operations. Okay. So now we have three quarters take away two fifths. So three quarters subtract two fifths. Right. Our LCM is 20. Right. Four into 20 is five. Five threes are 15. Five into 20 is. Four, two fours are eight, all right, and we get seven out of twenty, right? So this seven out of twenty of the money represents this one hundred and twenty-six dollars. All right, now students know is divided by off, all right. 720 7 twentieths of the money is 126. So to find for the amount of money, which is the goal that we, we're looking for here, okay, 126, right, is divided by the off, right? We know that when we divide them by a fraction, we change the division to multiplication and invert the second fraction. All right, and we would get a value of three hundred and sixty dollars, and that three hundred and sixty dollars is the total amount of money. 
Alright. So keeping your unit signs in the question is very helpful. Alright. In working these problems where we have fractions of money and actual values of money. Alright. Now, if you don't understand this part, okay, I'll do it up in this corner here, a second way, all right? If we have a bar and it's split into 20 pieces, okay, and 7 out of 20 of those pieces, okay, is 126, you could find for 1 out of the 20 pieces. All right from this piece here and that would give you 126 divided by those seven pieces right which will give us 18 all right and if we were to find for the whole amount 20 of the 20 pieces we will just take 18 and multiply it by 20 and it should give us that same $360 the whole amount of money that she had at the beginning always go back read your question make sure you answer what they ask to get your maximum marks all right 